Hi, this video is a tutorial for Lesson 7, Course F, Steps 6 through 9. All right, here is Puzzle 6. And what you see in your workspace is your code from Puzzle 5. And as you remember, Puzzle 5 was three equilateral triangles all drawn side by side. Um, this puzzle is asking you to draw the three equilateral triangles, but between each triangle, the artist needs to jump forward and down. So we have to put ourselves in the shoes of the sprite. And if you have like a little figurine, like a Lego man or something, it's really helpful to kind of model the turns so you know which direction the to tell the sprite to turn because it's from the sprite's perspective, not yours. So if I look at the code that's on the screen right now, um, the first triangle is drawn in this direction. And then there's a move forward at the end. So the sprite ends up in the cor this corner of the first triangle. And to, in order to get it from this corner to the corner of your next triangle, you have to turn it, then it has to jump, and then it has to turn again. So imagine the sprite is facing this direction. You're gonna have to add in a turn. And from the sprite's perspective, it is a right turn and it's a 90 degree turn. Now that it's facing down, it's going to jump forward and we're gonna keep the length the same at 50. Jumping simply means that it's picking up the pen, so there won't be a line here. After it jumps forward, it's in this corner, the right corner that I'd like it to be in, but it's facing down. So I have to turn it back around. That's a left turn at 90 degrees. Okay, that's puzzle six. Um, remember where the sprite ends up because puzzle seven builds on puzzle six. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna start this over. All right, here we are at puzzle seven. As you can see, it starts the same way that puzzle six does, three triangles, and the sprite, as you remember from puzzle six, ends up right here. So basically we have to add the same code in except at the end, we're gonna change the direction of which the sprite turns. Okay, so I'm gonna need some nested loops. The inside loop is the directions for it to draw a triangle. And when you see the empty puzzle piece, that means you have to get your length variable, put it here. And it's a move forward 50 pixels. It's a turn left by 120 degrees, doing that three times. And then it's a move forward to get it to the corner of the first triangle. Now that after it's drawn one triangle, it's facing this direction. And that would mean that the next thing you would need to tell the sprite to do is to turn left, but not by 120 by 90. So it's facing up. Then at the jump, so it'll pick up its pen and not make any mark. And it's a jump 50 pixels. Now you've got it in this corner, but it needs to turn one more time before it starts drawing again. It's a right 90 degree turn. It's gonna do that every time after it draws the triangle. All right, well, let's run it. Okay, that's puzzle seven. All right, here's puzzle eight. Puzzle eight is pretty easy. It's actually just got all the code there that you need. It's just telling you that instead of 50 pixels wide and six, uh, 50 pixel jumps, they want them to you to change it to 60 pixels. The, you only have to make one change in the code up here where you set the length. You need to change that from 50 to 60. 
And therefore, every time length is in your code as a variable, it will be a 60 pixel wide. That's it. All right, let's move on to the last one. All right, here's puzzle nine. And as you can see, you will be drawing squares with 80 pixel sides. And the artist will also make a jump 80 pixels over and down between each one. All right, so we're going to set the length to 80 first. And we're going to need a nested loop. There are four squares. So we're going, the outside loop is going to have a four. The inside loop is the number of times you want it, the sprite to move forward and turn. So since it's a square, it's also going to be a four. The inside loop is the, are the directions you want to tell the sprite to do to draw the square. So that's a move forward first bring in length, so it will move, oh, that didn't change, did it? 80, should be 80, there we go. Okay, after you, the sprite moves forward, you need to turn it left. It's a square, so it's 90 degrees. And it's going to do that four times. Once it stops drawing, it's going to be in this corner, which means you need to move it forward one more time to get it to the other corner. So now it's in this corner. And now we need to move the sprite from this corner down to this corner so it can start the loop all over again. In order to do that, we have to tell the sprite to turn first and then jump. So right when it ends up in this corner, the sprite is facing this direction, which means when it turns, it's actually a right turn. So bring in your turn block, Click the down arrow, change it to right. It's a 90 degree angle. After it turns right, it's facing down. So you're imagining the sprite's perspective is facing down. You need to tell it to jump 80 pixels. Now it's in this corner, but it's facing down. So before it starts drawing again, you have to tell it to turn back, which is a left turn. 90 degrees. And it's going to do that four times. Here we go. Awesome. You did it. That's lesson seven.